Welcome to our channel, my brothers and sisters in Christ. In the vast tapestry of religious beliefs and spiritual experiences, certain dates and events hold profound significance for believers around the world. Among these, March 18th stands out as a beacon of hope, woven intricately into the messages delivered by Our Lady, Queen of Peace, in the sacred space of Medjugorje. Within the hearts of faithful followers, the anticipation surrounding this date is palpable, laden with expectations of divine revelations and transformative insights. The messages of Our Lady, delivered through visionary experiences and shared with devout souls like Mir Jana, carry with them a weight of wisdom and guidance. They beckon believers to delve deeper into their faith, to contemplate the mysteries of existence, and to heed the call towards a life imbued with love, peace, and compassion. As we embark on a journey to explore the significance of March 18th and the profound messages conveyed by Our Lady, let us delve into the depths of spirituality, guided by the flickering light of faith and the unwavering devotion of those who seek to unravel the divine mysteries shrouded within these sacred revelations. Dear brothers and sisters, two extremely significant dates in the teachings of Medjugorje and Our Lady Queen of Peace are the second of every month and March 18th. March 18th is a day that many people misunderstand and misrepresent. Mir Jana, pay attention. She provided five really fascinating facts. She added, I can't tell you everything Our Lady told me. We may now look forward to what is ahead. However, there seem to be signs that things are already underway. Regarding the significance of March 18th, Mir Jana was rather explicit. Brothers take note that she mentioned that the world will only comprehend why Our Lady chose March 18th when the events detailed in the secret start to transpire. She did not specify which year this was. It will be evident what this day means and why fasting is observed on Wednesdays, Fridays, and the second Wednesday of each month. Everything will become clear. The moment is here, Mir Jana declared. I can tell this much, while I am not allowed to discuss the secrets, Our Lady has plans to transform the world. She comes to save us, not to proclaim our doom, she wishes to defeat evil with the help of her son. Mir Jana is aware of the precise day when the secrets will start. Our Lady has been preparing her for this mission by telling her about the mysteries and explaining the specifics of how everything would unfold. She made a second appearance to Mir Jana on September 13, 1984, informing her of the deadline for providing Father Petter, who would also divulge the secrets, with information on the initial secrets. According to Mir Jana, there are both cautions and benefits for the world in the mysteries of Medjugorje. Father Petter will learn the first secret from Mir Jana ten days in advance. For these days, Father Petter and Mir Jana will fast and pray together. Then, he will make public the details of the events, including the location, three days before the first secret. It is obvious to everybody that the dates of March 18th and the second of every month are significant. Only after the secrets are made public will we know. The year was left out by Mir Jana when she stated the date, the month, and the day. There are a lot of people in line. Okay, so on March 18th of this year, something will be revealed. No, Mir Jana was rather explicit. She explained that you would realize why March 18th and the second of every month are important when the secrets begin to emerge. Every second day of each month, Our Lady requests special prayers for those who have yet to experience the love of God. Should any significant event occur on the second day of an undisclosed month or on March 18th, it could align with Our Lady's previous mentions of these dates, underscoring their importance. Today marks the first Saturday of the month and also the second day, prompting us to offer heartfelt prayers for the world. 
Current events reveal a troubling reality where some leaders show a disregard for God's principles and fail to understand His love. Conversely, those who embrace God's love abide by His commandments and revel in the freedom of being His children, embodying His likeness. However, the enemy seeks to distort this beauty, tarnishing humanity's image and leading many astray. Despite the challenges we face and the injustices endured by the righteous, we find solace in God's greatness, justice, and mercy, as He intimately understands the depths of our hearts. While humans often judge based on outward appearances, God perceives the depths of the heart. Scripture teaches us that all evil originates from within the human heart, emphasizing the importance of nurturing our spiritual well-being and guarding our hearts diligently. Through prayer and reflection, we aim to align our thoughts with the purity and peace that emanate from the heart of Our Lady. For those who have not yet experienced the cleansing waters of God's mercy through the sacrament of holy confession, Lent provides a precious opportunity for renewal and repentance. Let us forsake our vices and resist the allure of addictions that enslave us to darkness. God desires our liberation from such bondage, granting us the strength to overcome temptations and embrace the path of righteousness. What then is the route that Our Lady gives us to follow in order to go to your Son and myself? We kindly request that everyone offer up a lot of prayers for the visionary Mir Jana, the priests, and all those who bear witness to God's word and message. These individuals endure great suffering, including defamation and physical agony, as a result of the suffering experienced by all those who are sanctifying themselves. Even those who see Our Lady are just human since we shall only experience true happiness and comfort when we are in paradise, face to face with God. However, at that very time, Our Lady makes her emerge, and she experiences paradise. Everything changes and comes to an end. It is evident to you that once Our Lady departs, she goes back, fully aware that she must return to the life we lead in this region of immense sorrow and hardship. The most crucial thing to remember is that, in the end, we all live and fight the good fight, maintaining our faith via whatever means necessary to see it through to the very end. We kindly request that you all share this video so that more people may join us on the second of every month and that we can pray a lot leading up to the impending day of March 18th, when Our Lady will appear to us with a message. It's unclear to me whether Mirjana, the visionary, will deliver the message to the public or if she will deliver it from within her home. On this particular occasion, a lot of people will visit Medjugorje, and even if she isn't present to greet the public, the message will undoubtedly be sent to every country in the globe. So let's give this some thought. It is important to remember Mir Jana Seer's birthday, which falls on March 18th. It is quite amazing how great this day is. St. Joseph's Day occurs on March 19th, which falls within the month of March. The Holy Family might then become our heartfelt one throughout this preparatory period till March 18th. We can continue the penance exercises that we want to perform throughout Lent and we can perform novenas. God bless you all, then.